hello guys welcome back to the more production today i'm going to show you in this video how to activate octopus into the advanced mode without any issues so i connected my mobile into the pc with the usb debugging screen mirroring and also the video is recorded without the voice and i'm adding the my voice separately so i need to see what i'm doing to explain it and i will give you two links to download uh, octopus original version and also which i modified by in production so you have to install the both applications let's wait for a few seconds okay and if you have installed already octopus just uninstall it if you have if you don't have any issues then this video is not for you but if you having issues like 364 and the fire and if the mouse is not working i mean so you guys can go you guys can try this method to fix that issue so install the both applications and you need to download the octopus activation tool also if your mobile is not rooted I will give that link also or you can take it from the official website it's the same thing now you guys can see the octopus is not activated into the advanced mode so remember you have to close the application it should not run in the background and also make sure that you have been enabled the usb debugging that for that one you need to go to the settings and go to the developer mode so you guys can find the usb debugging if it's not working successfully just switch it off and switch it on again and if any permissions are asking you need to keep enable it and make sure that you install the adb drivers and click next and i'm using a samsung galaxy note 8 so i'm going to use the samsung and the black screen coming because i'm doing the screen mirror through the usb with the usb debugging that's why it's when it's uh, busy so my screen is got crash so you guys can see when the message comes successfully activated the octopus will automatically open We have just activated the octopus at once mode via PC and now I connected my Galaxy Note 8 via Samsung deck station to the television. Uh, not the deck mode, the screen mirror mode because in the deck station the mouse is not working. So in the screen mirror it's working perfectly. So you have to uninstall the Google Play version of octopus if you have already installed it. Just uninstall and also uninstall which I given the APK file only. You have to install that one for activating the advanced mode. And do not open the game from that because now you know there is a recently Tcent is starting to ban the players but i'm not sure 100 percent that this application can prevent from the ban but i made some i fixed some bugs like 360 rotation po and also this i made this application completely offline it's not linked with the google anymore for example if you go for an ad free version that you cannot go because it will show error completely i made it offline so there will be a chance to prevent from the ban but I'm not sure it's risk is up to you also I tried Fortnite but when I open the game it's completely black screen coming so I will try to fix it if I did I will make another video and I will uh, publish on YouTube so let's go and check our PUBG and I'm playing the Chinese version because I feel much comfortable than the English global version actually the graphics and all are perfect for me and the gameplay is very fast and very smooth so one more thing when you uh, open the octopus and when you go to settings that you guys can see shoot mode shortcut this one sometimes it will be invisible so you guys cannot change anything so once it happened what you need to do is just go to the settings and application find the octopus and clear data and clear catch then come back again so it will be visible again 
So okay, my friends are inviting. I guess I'm going to take a screenshot. Let me do the translation. What is it? Because I'm playing the game like this. Okay, it won't translate. So what I will do is I will just uh, take a screenshot. I think it's asking do I need to go for the training base again. So let me click yes. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm thinking. I wish there will be no ban because of I'm using this application. I don't know how they are finding the TSN, but this I made completely offline. So let's check our keys. Yeah, the keyboard is working fine. And let me, okay. First of all, we'll check our mouse rotation. So my key is number six. You guys can see my cursor when I press it. The cursor is gone and I can rotate via mouse perfectly. And the 360 that I can rotate completely without any issues. And also I can punch. So I'm going to check the scope and all. I'm going to pick a gun. Yeah, anything would be fine. Okay. So I'm going to pick a scope also. Not a scope. So okay fine I cannot use I cannot use this gun so I'm going to say pick a AMW and the bullets okay so I'm going to put the scope over here and I'm going to drop this thing off I'm going to press number six okay let's uh, <coughs> take the AMW so I'm going to right click yeah it's perfectly working okay so i'm going to jump and shoot 360 everything was seems fine and i have i have been connected to mouse so i'm going to check my wireless mouse also that already i checked it's working fine yes there is no issue at all so i'm going to turn it off uh, so the gameplay is working fine but uh, still I'm saying I'm not sure if you get banned from this application just make comment below that you are getting banned even you are using this application also will try to do something but I'm not working for Octopus officially this is unofficially app I made just modified by myself for gamers because I'm a gamer I would like to help people and that's the thing how we do right so if you wish that you can do a subscribe or if you don't like just no issue at all and i'm going to give you both links uh, the description below and also octopus activation tool also and i'm going to close this game so you guys can see the octopus in octopus is running background the octopus mapping mapping service is running background so when i close this it will stop force close and it will no more running in the background so sometimes if it's running what you have to do is normally follow their step but i made some changes to force close it so if it's still running you need to open the app and give a quit otherwise when you close it it will automatically force closed so that's it guys and i will check any solution for it just please make a comment below so we can go through it and join my whatsapp group also and you guys can drop any messages any help that you need on not only about the games even for the computer things also i will try to do my best thank you very much and i'm going to stop the video have a nice day goodbye